Hey folks, so we're on the Fire and Ice dev server, uh, the first dev server anyway, um, for the new update for War Thunder that's going to be coming. This was announced earlier today. And the first thing we're going to be taking a look at is the A1H. This is a premium aircraft for the Americans. Uh, I believe this is going to be a battle pass reward. Now, there's, y you might be looking at this, oh great, a, a prop aircraft is a battle pass. How exciting. Well, there are some interesting things about this I want to show you. Um, first of all, take a look at this. We get countermeasures on a prop at BR 6.3. Now, this isn't out of the question. Like, you know, this is realistic. Uh, because the A-1, you may recall or may be aware, um, was actually used over Vietnam. And this was attacked by, like, surface-to-air missiles and stuff. Uh, so, having countermeasures on this is going to be of limited utility in War Thunder, but that is an actual thing. Um, I suppose if you use this as close air support in higher-tiered ground RB matches, uh, suddenly those countermeasures might become a little bit more relevant. But, you know, in like Air Arcade or something at BR 6.3, you know, it's more gimmicky than anything. But anyway, the, the real... The real interesting thing about this, and this will probably get a full review when it comes out, are the weapons. Look at all these ridiculous weapons. 26 500-pound bombs. What? What? This is insane. This is going to do an absolutely ridiculous amount of damage to anything it can find on the ground. 288 Mighty Mouse Rockets crazy a load of six you can actually do more than six i i took more down here 762 mini guns now these aren't going to be super effective against ground targets but against aircraft these are going to be crazy now the weapon loadouts on this are are interesting enough you know this has got some potential already without even looking at anything else for close air support. Uh, you're also going to notice the loadouts are asymmetrical. There's something else. It's not listed under the normal list of available weapons. But if you create a custom loadout, on the very far left pylon is Special Weapon Ammo 1. Now, what the game is telling us is that this is a 500-pound bomb. I have an idea what this is supposed to be. However, it's not modeled or anything, at least not yet. It just shows up as a 500-pound bomb. And it functions as a 500-pound bomb. I kind of hope that when the patch goes live, this special weapon is going to function as napalm just just cuz that that's amazing uh but for now it it's a 500 pound bomb it's the dev server you know we'll see what comes of it uh but in any case um we're going to take this custom loadout i made of an absolutely inappropriate amount of rockets mini guns and a bomb and uh we're going to take this into a match and see how it does all right, so I jumped into an Air RB match with the A1 here. First uh, couple of things I noticed right off the bat. I got an air spawn. It's a strike aircraft. No cockpit yet. That's to be expected. Uh, you know, we're, we're still on the dev server. And uh, take a look at that ammo count up in the top left there. That's, uh, that's all these miniguns. Now, that may seem impressive, and it is, right? But check this out. Take, uh, keep an eye on that ammo count as I just unload the trigger for a moment. Yeah, it goes by really quick. So, what we're going to do... Oh, and of course... <laughs> we've got countermeasures dropping flares in a prop. Oh, that's so crazy. Oh, I love it, though. All right, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fast forward for a second here um, while I move in on some of these ground targets because uh, this is a slow plane.
All right, I'm going to come in and dump this bomb on uh, this cluster of ground targets. We'll see what we get. There's no, there's no CCIP or anything like that. So we're just dropping blind. All right, we got three. That's not bad. All right, I'm going to try and come around and make an attack with these rockets. Um, I am notoriously terrible at using the unguided rockets without a CCIP. So I may hit nothing on this attack run. Please feel free to mock me relentlessly. Because uh, we already know that I'm terrible with the rockets. All right, we got one. All right, oh. Oh, hello. I didn't expect to uh, have any aircraft over here. All right, well. Because they decided to show up, let's share some miniguns. And of course, we're getting shot up. We're probably going to get shot down by this thing's gun turrets. All right, I have no idea what the speed is going to be like on this. We'll see if we can catch this PE-2 in a tail chase. I doubt it, but maybe we, maybe we can slow him down with a little bit of fire. It's a pretty flat trajectory on these 30 cals. <laughs> Excellent. I love it. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, I think, going to be underestimated in air combat. I mean, you know, it's not a dogfighter. It's not going to be a dogfighter by any stretch. But the amount of firepower coming out of these guns, I mean, anything you can actually tag with this and score some hits is going to feel some pretty good pain. All right, let me see if I can get shot down here. Okay. Oh, there's an armored car on the bridge. You know what else I want to do after I, I make this attack run? I'm going to check... I'm going to check my flaps and see if I can rip them. Ooh. All right, not bad. Okay. Whoop. All right, there we go. All right, so let's see about flaps. High speed. Not ripping them in level flight. If I went into a dive, I could probably tear them off. You know, it's, it's one of the things, like, when I'm doing a review in my normal format of an aircraft, I'll... I'll go through, like, a full test pilot regimen with the plane. You know, screwing around in different game modes to see, like, how fast I can go without ripping the flaps. Same thing, how fast I can go without ripping the gear, that sort of stuff. And, uh, this is my very first time flying this particular version of the A1 here. So I got no idea what to expect. Um, I'm gonna make a pass on this light pillbox, see what the 30 cals can do. Hits. So, damage but no kill. Useful information. But, anyway. Um, so, this was uh, my first impression of the A1H here. This is going to be, I believe, a battle pass vehicle. Um, I got to say, you know, a lot of people are going to write this off because it's not like a sexy new supersonic fourth generation fighter or something like that. Um, but, my first impression is that this plane will be very combat useful. Even if it's not especially academically interesting, or if it doesn't, like, advance the top-tier jet fighter meta. I, I think this will be genuinely useful um, for ground attack for players who get it. But, alright, anyway, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>